Okay, uh, you're going to be looking over my shoulder here for a second because um, as I ex explained, I'm going to give you uh, an idea of how to design your own pool. Uh, and I also will talk about um, the differences between designing it yourself and also um, hiring a company. The pros and cons for both. But first, if you're going to design your own pool, I want to give you the most important advice possible. And that is to um, measure your property properly. And now, what I mean by that is, before you even think about designing a pool, you need to convert your house and your property lines to, to one-eighth scale. That's what the building department accepts. Which means every eighth of an inch, every eighth of an inch will equal one foot. So that's the scale at which you design your property. Now you can pick these up at, at any type of uh, drafting supply house or in most cases you can find them at an uh, office supply store also. Now when you design your property, you want to tape measure from the corners of the house to the outer edges of the property line. But before you do that, get the exact measurements of your house. Measure your house in every nook and cranny. Get it as accurate as possible. It's very important. Once you have the house lined up at 1 8 scale, then you measure from the corners of the house to the outer edges of the property. So you measure from this corner up to the property line and what you do is you look down the tape with your eye. You bring the tape measure up to your eye and you look down the line of the tape and make sure that the line of the tape is in line with the house. It's very important. Then you go to the opposite side and you do the same thing. You line up the house with the, the tape measure at the edge of the property line. Now once you do that, you're going to also go to the other side of the house and you're going to do the same thing from that corner. You're going to go all the way up to the property line, look down the tape, line it up. Same with the other side. Then from this corner, triangulate. Go back to that edge or go back to that corner where you lined up the house on the opposite side and you've created a triangle. When that triangle is in line, that means your property lines are now going to be equal to your house in the way it's actually laid out. So once you have that, then you can start thinking about design. And now we're going to go into that next in the next chapter.